Hey guys, Railroad Kid1937 here, back at you. Um, so check it out. I'm doing this video, give you guys a little bit of an update of what's going on. Lots to talk about, lots to say and do, and yada yada. Um, hope you all, oh, by the way, I hope you guys enjoyed the last video of, uh, what was it? My Christmas layout. Um, I'm sorry if that the sound was, sound quality was horrible, is because that the camera, my iPod, it was. I put it on the railing that that was on the locomotives. Of course, that's right next to the speaker, so it, <laughs> it's going to be a little bit louder. But um, it gave you a more realistic perspective of the layout. I know it's a little dark. I'll give you. I'll probably show the layout um, from a daytime perspective. I should just give you guys an overview of what I did and everything. Um, but it's, in case you didn't know, there were two sections of track. Everything is DCC. Um, one engine. The any engine can go. Um, from one line to the other, um, there are there is a switch, there two sw or there are two switches going from the main line to the inner loop. Uh, as you saw, and the, on the inner loop is of course the city and the train station. Outer loop doesn't really have too much other than a train station, and there's also another switch on the outer loop that um, is like a small siding. Uh, also, I found out some new stuff I could do with my DCC locomotives. I uh, found out that I had a like three new different modes, three new different settings uh, on the engine. Like there's um, com complete shutdown, like a total shutdown operation, which is what you heard at the end of the video, where um, you can hear the engineer the door slamming, like him walking out. There was also um, I forgot what the other two modes are called. There's stand, but there's standby mode. Um, it's like half. Sh it's like half of a shutdown, halfway shutdown. It's that's. I'm paraphrasing, of course. And then there's complete shutdown. But um, yeah. Uh, other than that, I'm pretty much rambling on about the Christmas layout. But you guys have already seen it, or most of you have. Uh, anyway, this is a video response to Seaboard 1321. This is a kid. I just. I just recently found out about his channel. Subscribed to him. He's. Uh, I looked at a couple of his videos. He's got some really good stuff. It looks like he's operating on DCC, um, but look, but uh, really great guys. Subscribe to him, Seaboard thirteen twenty one. Really cool guy. Um, his name should be in the tags uh, for this video. Uh, but anyway, the reason why I made a video response to him was because uh, it's it's interesting that the day that he posted the video was actually the same day that I was doing the exact same thing he was. And what it is is that I'm, I cleaned out my basement as well, and I'm using it as the train room now. Uh, where I am currently sitting is my upstairs room. I have two rooms, but where I'm currently sitting is my upstairs room. And I had to clean this one out before I went. I moved it downstairs. But what I did was I, this room was such a mess. I closed everywhere. Think of a typical teenager room. Clothes everywhere, flying all over the place. Um, Boxes of old toys just lying around. It's, it was great. I had to get my act together. So I, I, I drew out like, oh, my entire garbage can is filled with crap from my room. <laughs> and there's still a lot more to throw away. Because I had the basement room. I can still throw some stuff away as well. But, uh, yeah, th that's that. Um, but no, I cleaned this room. Um, I'm sitting at my desk. Uh, my desk in my room. I have a. Here. I can just go back and forth. Uh, I have drawers here. It's real cool. Give you guys a tour of my room. But uh, the transformer shelf that was in my room is now taken down. Transformers in the box. Put them away because I'm done. I just I can't. I'm, I'm done. I can't afford to spend any more money on plastic men. Uh, so I've actually lately, and I haven't been making updates about this either. But lately, I've been spending um, my money on rolling stock. I recently just bought an. Was it? Is it Avern or is it Atlas? It's Avern, yeah. It's um an Avern Union Pacific um, caboose. Very nice, very detailed. I'm not sure what type of caboose it is, but it's very nice. It looks very nice behind my uh, DCC, my Atlas DCC um, locomotive with Sama Union Pacific SD. Or what is it? It's like a B. A B80 or so. I, I forgot what it is. Is like a SD80 or I don't know. I'm I'm rambling and I have no idea what I'm talking about. Uh, <laughs> but uh, that that looks it looks really great. Also bought a Union Pacific uh, hopper car or no excuse me gondola car. 
Um, I'm switching over to not KB couplers, but I'm, I'm not I'm not the, the easy couplers, the back of an easy couplers. They're uh, I'm really starting to like those. Um, I've been purchasing them from Hobby Town USA. Really, it's a it's an okay store. The guy there that the guy there that works there, I, you know, I used to be he's I used to be real cool with him, but now he's been acting a jerk lately for some reason. I have no idea why. Um, I might switch. I might go back to White Elephant because those guys, they know they know how to treat you real well. Um, and there's also a local hobby store called Sunset Junction. Those are really great people down there. Probably the best hobby store in town. Anywho, uh, other than that, I also bought um, some other ones. I bought a tank car, a box car. Um, I think that I think that's the only rolling stock I bought. But uh, actually, now that the Christmas season's coming up, yeah, presents. Uh, <coughs> I'm looking forward to getting some. DCC stuff, so I'm going to be getting a DCC steam locomotive and possibly some DCC switches. So I want to get up and manually start flipping switches all over the dang place on my layout. Just use my um, NCE power cab, great operating system. But I wanted to turn you guys on to the site where I usually buy my, actually where I always buy my model railroad stuff from. O gauge, N gauge, whatever gauge, whatever you think, whatever gauge you want, whatever you want, they got it. Um, uh, great website and their prices are absolutely amazing they probably got some of the cheapest prices out of any website I've ever seen but uh, I suggest you guys go to the site and check it out but if you can find the prices cheaper someone else somewhere else please let me know um, and actually if you remember the prices you get even more of a discount but you would have you'd have to spend two hundred dollars before that of course but but that, that's that's a whole other story but these these guys are really great and the website is wholesaletrainings.com that's w h o L E S A L E trains dot com. Great site. Um, uh, compared to other sites where you would buy your DCC locomotives from or your uh, line of locomotives from, that their prices are amazing. Like I, like a lot of the uh, locomotives that you see going for uh, one thousand dollars, like a good grand, grand and a half line of locomotives, they've got them for about seven hundred, seven ninety nine, eight hundred dollar range. They've got all MTH products, all Backman products, everything, the, and the, the prices are just absolutely amazing. The only other website I've seen that have that have had that's had prices that have been very similar would be uh, I think it's Model Train Stuff. Excuse me, Model Train Stuff dot com. Yeah, Model Train Stuff dot com. Uh, they're really good too, but Wholesale Trains is a heck of a lot better. They they have some really good prices and I suggest, and especially around this time of year, I suggest you all go there and check them out. But that is where I'm going to get my uh, DCC locomotive. I think I'm, I think I'm getting a 2, I'm going to get a 2.10.0 uh, locomotive. Um, what, what is it? A, a two, it's a 2.10.0, I forgot what the formal name for it is. 2.10.0, you're, um, it's like a, I forgot what they call it. I'm going to go research that. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I want to give me one of those. Uh, also, last year I'm going to get my DCC switches, maybe some track, a wider radius of curve. Uh, that would be great. Also, my birthday is two months after Christmas, not too, sh not too long, not too far away, not too short, just that perfect amount of time. And I found out that the train show is on the 20th of February, which just so I was going to be 18 days after my birthday. Do the math, it's February 2nd. And. So that's that's gonna be real great. I have no idea what I want to do on my birthday though, train wise. I, I should probably start saving that money for a car, but you know, just I'll make that. I don't make the kind of money to start saving up for a car yet. So I'm not gonna do it. <laughs> should probably though. Uh, what else? What else? But anyway, back to the layout downstairs. So. I cleaned out my room up here, and I was bored Thanksgiving weekend, decided to clean the room downstairs, and when I had the time, I've got less than 45 seconds left, son of a gun. <laughs> I'll have to make a part two, explaining what happened, because it's, it's real great stuff, it's real great stuff, what I did. I'm, I'm going to have to make a video showing you all the great things, it, it, the layout just, it's going to look so nice, because it's no longer on the floor. I just like Seaboard 1321. I got sick of the floor layout. That stuff gets on your nerves after a while because you're always worrying about stepping on something. Am I right? Anybody who's had a floor layout knows what I'm talking about. Anyway, Railroad Kid 1937 here. I'm running out of time, guys. Watch out for part two, which will probably be uploaded like a few minutes after this. So, peace, God bless, and I'll catch you all later. See you guys.